Today, we are going to be chatting with a former FSU president for the years of 1999 to 2000. He is a Fanshawe alumni and built his career at Fanshawe for the past 15 years and currently is the new senior manager of organization learning and development. And today we're going to be talking to Jason Kerr. Hey, Jason. How are you? Good to see you. Good to see you. Yeah. Thank you for coming. No problem. I think there is no better way to start our conversation than in the bus station, right? So the bus pass started with you. How was it? Back in 1998, like the late 90s, uh, Western had brought one in. So we followed suit, uh, put it to a referendum. And the students voted it in. Uh, so it became live in September of 1999. So let's move towards our office. So Jason, tell me, uh, why did you decide to run for presidency? Yeah, I was the VP Finance at the time, and before that I was on the Student Administrative Council. I was done school, so the Student Union President is a paid position, it's a full-time position. Mm -hmm. um, so, uh, so that felt like a ne next step. What strategies did you use like to win the elections at the time? I'm curious. A lot of it is name recognition, it still is to this day. Highlighting what you've done as a former executive, uh, being in tune with what students need, highlight the services that you've been involved in, um, and getting the word out and talking to people, encouraging people to, to vote. And I love that concept of involving with the students because sometimes we hear students saying that it's about popularity. Yeah, you need to have a platform, right? Students need to know what they should expect from you. What differences do you see between like being a president in the past and being a president now? Uh, the biggest would be the amount of international students. As a former international student, I know it's not easy. Today we have 35% of our population as international students. How would you describe your leadership style when you were a president back there? Yeah, I think uh, developing. You know, whatever I was doing in my business courses, I was applying helping to run the FSU. Great amount of learning in a small, small amount of time. You feel students had a voice at your time, like they really pay attention or? Yeah, especially when it came down to fees. I mean, some of it was legislated, but we were consulted a lot when it came to student fees, uh, student services, student concerns. I'm glad you were saying that because as we mentioned before, we have 35% of our uh, population as international students and some students they just land here in Canada and they don't like they are not aware of how seriously the colleges in general take uh, student voices. A lot of students don't fully understand what the student union does for them and where their fee goes um, and how it covers advoca advocacy and health plans and uh, uh, it's not just entertainment there's so much more to it. So Jason, you were telling me about the residents. Yeah. Tell me about that story. There was a lot of kind of apprehension on whether or not, you know, the, the campus you know, would attract that many people to live on campus. Was there enough services, stuff like that? Um, so yeah, they opened the first one, 400 students. Two years later, another one, two years later, another one. And now you see, you know, three on campus yeah. residents. What kind of accomplishment do you have during, did you have during your tenure that you were proud of? Every time I see a student with their bus pass getting on a bus, it's like I had, I had a part in that. That's, that's probably the biggest one. It's been 20 years, 25 years almost of, of that bus pass. How being a president shaped your professional path? Uh, being a student leader, at a, even at a provincial level, um, it helped me kind of develop an appreciation for young leaders. Uh, people who of all ages who you can view as leaders, not because of age, not because of position or career. What kind of advice would you give for students that are wondering if they should or shouldn't follow this student leadership path? There's nothing, uh, there's nothing bad about it. There's things that you can get done um, that maybe you wanted to improve from your own student experience. You need to run a campaign. It, it is an election. You need to get out uh, and, and uh, make people understand what it is that you bring uh, makes you ideal as a candidate. Fantastic. So thank you very much for your time. I am quite sure your story will impact our students and inspire many people to run for those positions. <laughs> All right, my so, pleasure. Thank you. Cheers.